We've been compromised. Abort and walk away now. Who? ICA. They tracked me. Don't know how. It's what they do. How many? One prime asset and a whole pack of up-and-comers. They've infiltrated the club searching for us. Christ, I think I killed one of them. Get out now before they spot you. No. They found us once. They'll find us again. <sighs> Keep your head down. I'll take care of this. Here we are in another round of Roulette Rivals 4, Losers Bracket, round 7. We're closing in on the finals. Uh, Infofon vs. Pidgeyero, joining me on the cast today, is Janini. Welcome. Hey, welcome. Uh, hello. You're gonna play the winner of this match. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's gonna be... Indeed, that's the case. So. It's gonna be an, yeah. It's especially like it's gonna be an interesting match anyway uh, for everyone. I think this is uh, top quality. We're closing on to the end of the tournament. Yes, we actually. But even yeah. I, I just counted before so. the stream. We uh, still have six matches, I think, in total before the finals. Four of which are in the PC bracket, and just I think two more matches in the console bracket before we've got our uh, final uh, finalists. So yeah. Yeah, awesome. Um, I mean, so like, I think it was the biggest Roulette tourney ever with the most matches, and like all, all in two and a half weeks. And yeah, now we are so close to the end. It's Friday, Grand Finals will be in two days, and we only have so few matches left. And yeah, this is also a very important one for fun. Our Roulette Rivals World Champion, with Pijero, also a very uh, veteran Roulette player. <laughs> and uh, yeah, especially for, for me, important as well, personally, because I will play the winner of that. And the winner of that one, that match will then play um, the lose. Like th then, only like only five people are left in the PC bracket, and after this match, it will only be four. Yes. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Pijero. I'd say from from what I've seen in other streams, definitely a player with a big mouth beforehand. Let's see if he can deliver <laughs> today. <laughs> that is true. P Pidgey likes his banter. That's that's uh, that's for sure. But yeah, that's just bit of competitive uh, stimulation, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, 1 minute 30 until we are going to see the first spin. First map is going to be Berlin, and we're going to jump onto Mendoza afterwards. Um, yeah, Berlin, the map with the most targets in the game. Um, but also, I'd say probably the most freedom since you actually have like twice the amount of targets required on the map and so you do get some selection yeah it's definitely very unique uh with, with all all around uh with the approach so i mean I'm, it's, it's always interesting to see like you can pick your own targets is uh something very different and yeah always in my opinion always great to see berlin roulette even though like some people find it, can find it boring with the office strat but there's enough spins, where, like enough spins, and enough players that don't go for that, and even then, it's still interesting. I think so. Yes. Yeah, excited to see it. Definitely. Let's see if we uh, get a strat where the office lure is possible, or maybe we'll, I don't know, see something where it's completely. I mean, it's pretty much uh, it can be done in any spin, but uh, I think there are spits, uh, spins that benefit more from it and spins that benefit less. For sure. Yeah, closing in 10 seconds. Do you want to uh, read out the spin once Nine, it's arrived? Eight, seven, Thank you very much. Six, I'll do that. I'll do the honors. Four, so we have two, Electrocution one, as Dealer. We have for target two, Drowning as Technician. Also Garden Fork in the suit. Fall as Club Security and a Loud Sniper Rifle as Delivery Guy. That's interesting one. I've never seen so, like so many quote-unquote generic kills with like electrocution drowning fall it's like uh... yeah it's definitely interesting because it's nothing i mean it, it, it's a very interesting spin because we have area yeah, three accident kills um you have the loud sniper life rifle that is in theory on the map players want to use that they don't have to bring a loud sniper rifle they want to bring use that slot for something else and and in the suit of course so you have to start in the suit that's yes. uh 
very important here. Yeah, definitely. Um, Garden Fork also, there's not, not that many on the map. Not even sure. I mean, I know there are ones neck in the crates on the in the bikers uh, club. Also, there's one open in the in the like grow house of the biker club. Yeah, there are only the only garden forks on this map are in the biker uh, in the biker garage. So, uh, but it's not too like it takes a bit of time if you're not there anyway. Getting in the biker disguise, going up there. But I mean, there are three targets in there, so I can very much see, see them. Yeah. Uh, in case you don't know where any of the items that you need for your Hitman uh, experience are, there's this great website called hitmaps.com, your one-stop shop for all your Hitman needs. Um, yeah, you can uh, search up the items there. Alright, both players loaded in, uh, both players starting with the Ravon suit start. Um, however, already both players are taking a different approach to this one. In for fun, going upstairs, uh, closing in on Agent Green, while Pigiero has been uh, going downstairs and is closing in on Agent Banner, if I'm not mistaken. And that is actually the first kill for Infarfun here. Um, the fall elimination as a club security. Very easy to do with that one. Um, yeah, let's see if what uh, Pidgey's approach is going to be to this. He is, he has, uh, Pidgey has a secret um, agent banner, I think, and is now uh, following following him closely and is, I think he's gonna go for the drowning kill here, which does make sense, but it doesn't work because uh, banner is not going to a toilet, but instead is just gonna... Um, Yeah, just gonna uh, puke over that little railing there. I'm wondering if my co-caster is still alive. Oh, my co-caster has left the Discord. I'm actually not hearing that. So, uh, yeah, I'm missing a co-caster right now, but I'm sure he's gonna come back in a few minutes um, or seconds or whatever. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna solo this one, I think. If he doesn't come back shortly, maybe someone else can jump. Uh, yeah, jump in. But we'll see how what it how it goes. Um, in for fun, got the delivery guy disguise. It's uh, the one needed for the loud sniper. Oh, he's actually not going for the uh, delivery guy disguise just yet. He is uh, just obtained the. Uh, the, the the scooter keys and is now poisoning the food. I think he just a medic poisoned him. And yes, yeah, setting up his drone there basically. Hello oh. again. Oh, there you are. <laughs> ah, my, my my internet's cut out. Uh, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I was Back thinking up and again. Like this. All right. Yeah. That's great. Um. Yeah. So P where are we? Pigiero <laughs> just got his first kill, and I actually missed. Which one he got? I think he got the uh, the fall go uh, 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 fall elimination, but I'm not quite sure honestly. Um, could also get the drowning kill since he is in a technician's disguise right now. And um, yeah, Pigiero, no Pigiero, in for fun uh, has set up the drowning kill on agent. What's the Lothal? Lothal? With the food? Or, yes, or, yeah. yes. Uh, okay. At least I think that that's what he did. Okay, okay. That's nice. I think I also saw a body. And now, yeah, what, what Pidgey is doing is, is KOing Agent Chamberlain. Uh, because it's like, there's a very good execution spot there. Could even, if you had the tailor with him, you can even set that up. For a remote, remote execution kill. Doesn't want to go to the dealer. Yes. 
and he's dragging him onto that little uh, and the next little water cooler just gonna poke it once and yeah he actually has the yeah, have micro taser okay. yeah i mean it makes sense i mean the dealer is not too far away so it actually will, probably wouldn't even lose time if you would uh do like a hand electrocution but yeah but it's okay like if it would have been especially if it would have been the like the, the delivery guy or uh, yeah. someone like that then it would have been uh yeah very very time efficient to to so tether there yes meantime in for fun is uh down in the basement behind the dj booth not quite sure what his plan here is but uh I, I assume... looking at hit maps yeah <laughs> I assume we're gonna find out in a few. Uh, Pidgeira has actually talked to the dealer just now and is now following him to get his disguise to get his uh, second kill. I think that is. Should it's... be yeah. Uh, make 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 sense. Well, if if Han just missed uh, missed Cham Chamberlain timing, like uh, like Pijo Pijo got him there, so he maybe has to wait. I'm not sure when he actually returns, so either has to wait for that or I'm gonna take another approach. We'll see. Let's see. All right. Pijero obtained the uh, dealer's disguise. And I assume he's just gonna, yep, press the button, get the target eliminated. And that's his second kill down. Very nicely done. Um. You know, in fact, I think, okay, so apparently he got him, he got a target sick. Uh, I've missed that actually, but yeah, he, he having didn't got him in time. So I think I have another Fika shot though, or something. I hope for him. Oh, this might be an issue for Ooh. Pajero. As an unconscious oh, witness, that's not too bad. It's just a target, but but the biker's gonna come around, and that hiding in the box is probably too late. I actually, uh, what's happening? Okay, is he actually oh. fine? No. I think, he I think the other guy saw the body, right? No? I'm like not quite sure, but I, I think... Yeah, the guard... I'm pretty sure the guard saw the body. Yeah, and the guard's not gonna like come to... Oh, yeah, I know, they're also coming. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, no, no, it's definitely ripped. That's actually just the body of the electrocution kill, so... That oh, might okay. be fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure the, one of the guards saw... Saw the body before Pidgey could drag it. But if yeah. not, there would be an... Interesting save. <laughs> if, if, if he gets green guns back here, I'll be very impressed because... Yeah. Yeah. It's just, Holy shit, that would be very clutch. Yeah, that's just so unlikely at this point. I think that's, that he's gonna get green guns uh, from there, but uh, yeah. Yeah, technically just one point. One, one, like, I'm pretty sure... I Like, the, the Gobaco hurt something, but I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have drawn his gun. If, it, if you wouldn't have saw a glimpse of a body or something. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure you saw, saw the one Pajero dragged into the security room. I couldn't tell for sure. Well. So Pajero apparently thinks he's good, so he's going to continue playing. Yes, if he ends up to, uh, or if he's going to end up finding out that he got read a red guns even after eliminating all five targets, that's going to be going to be devastating for him, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Infofan is now infiltrating, like, probably getting the Garden Fork, still in his suit. He ran through cameras. Like, got spotted by cams. Yeah, he runs through cameras, but that nice icon tells us. Yes. Uh, now, that the synth didn't get ripped, only cameras. You can just delete later. Yeah, he's... Yeah, that's uh, one of the areas where a Garden Fork is on the map. And this should actually be able to... Uh, he should be able to obtain that. In, in his suit, since it's just in one of the crates, as far as I remember. Exactly. I mean, yeah, now there's, now there's two in the garden, in the actual garden. I'm not sure if that's one in the crate. It could be very well. I I don't know, but we have hit for that. Yeah, I think it's there's gonna, one in the garden. The uh, uh, one in the yeah, one in the garden itself, and one in the crate. We might just go for the one in the garden right here. Yes. Very nice, and there's a kill kill there as well. Use a pesticide for that. Uh, I'm not sure if that one comes in there. I guess not. That would be very, very efficient then. Uh, I'll just... Have a second kill down then. Yeah, that's uh, two for two, I think, at this point. 
Yes, it is. And in the meantime, Pijero is uh, acquiring the delivery guy disguise. Something Infofon has already down on the ground. However, he has not uh, taken it yet. Yeah, it needs to probably... It makes sense if he would uh, take his disguise and get up, get up to Agent Tremaine with him with his own rifle. Or something like that. Or just take the rifle with him down to another target. I mean, actually, uh, Tremaine, you can you can take out Tremaine with his own sniper rifle, rifle without anyone hearing if you just drag him to the balcony, I think. Um, yeah, exactly. This, in my opinion, that's a really good spot for, like, loud eliminations. Oh, for sure. Uh, if I find out to leave the camps. And on his way way down again. Yeah, Pujero is still, still playing. Both are 10 minutes in. Um, and but Pijero, of course, has the risk of no, like I still don't know if Pijero is fine or not if he has to restart. But he has Agent Swan here, so it should be pretty good for him. But Agent Swan is leaving again. I'm not sure what his plan with Agent Swan is. I mean, what is uh, he has gotten the he needs the uh, sniper rifle kill, the drowning kill, and the mm. garden fork kill as far garden as garden fork kill probably yeah. And if one needs, yeah, in front needs the drowning as well, the low sniper rifle, and the fall kill. But the fall kill should be pretty free. I think, um, or I'm not sure if he used. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. Wait, actually? No, I, I no. think no, I'm confused. Just, just continue. <laughs> yeah, I think Infofon actually already yeah. did the fall guy at the very yeah, beginning yeah. with Agent Green, and he needs the electrocution kill. And the drowning. That makes sense. That, yeah, exactly. That that makes sense. Uh, I just didn't remember because yeah, I wasn't yeah, I didn't hear. But yeah, that makes with, that makes sense. With Berlin, it's sometimes wait. What do these players still need to do? I'm confused. And uh, yeah, but green, green, of course, I like that was of course it makes very much sense. Green is pretty free for fall, and security guys, security, security, club security guys is right there as well. So yes, for sure. Now, Pijero is down at the party again, uh, in security. Not sure what his plan is. If a fund is knocking out the top floor of the biker like a garage. Nice. Probably wants to go for Agent Tremaine now. Yeah, that seems like the most likely option at this point, since there is the loud sniper rifle here. Um, yeah, I'm not well, quite sure. Nice. I actually can shoot him right there, and nobody will hear. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess when when you knock knock those two both knock those two people out, I guess you can. Yeah, very nice. And it's at three out of five for him. He's one kill up, compared to Pijero, who has one knocked out there, but that doesn't quite help him right now. Uh, Pijero seems a bit confused. Yeah. He is running around the map for a few minutes. I hasn't really got anything done, and he's still and I'm still not sure if he's yeah. good or not. Uh, chat also screaming for Pidgey to just uh, kill Monty to uh, finally <laughs> find out if he get gr gets green guns when he's gonna do yeah. that. And Pijero has a drowning left, and uh, I mean he could he could do the Garden Fork suit kill on him. I'm not sure if he has the Garden Fork already. Uh, like I'm in general not sure what what his, what his plan is. Yeah. Right, we are 15 minutes into the spin now. Ba both players. Uh, I think still in the first run. Um, no big resets from either side, but that's. I think that's at this point pretty uh, standard Berlin, I'd say. There are, of course, sure. uh, ways you can like screw up and everything, uh, but the runs also just take some time. Yeah, for sure. It's like a, it's a big map. It's many targets you have to orientate. Uh, itself. I'm not sure what he wants. Oh, he wants. He, he lured. Pidgey lured Agent Swan over there to then seek him. <clears throat> That's nice. But actually, like, if he's in that spot, you can also seek him. And you would go. Should go to the toilet. But this is extra safe so he doesn't go. Go puke into the. The let's, spray or whatever. Yeah, let's hope for it. I mean. <laughs> uh, Hitman, Hitman sometimes does funny things. Yeah. Right, no, he's going to that toilet. So and... we have the drowning kill. Yeah, that's the third kill down for Pijero. So it's now sweet to sweet. Both need two kills. Um, Pidgey needs Garden Fork and Loud Sniper Rifle kill. Infofan needs Drowning and Electrocution. So they both need two different kills. That's very interesting. 
Yes. So uh, if they just combined their run, they would have one finished, uh, <laughs> one finished run. And even an extra kill. Yes, that's true. And maybe red guns, but uh, we'll, fi <laughs> we'll find about <laughs> that. Maybe. Uh, Infofron actually just triggered a remote, a medic. I think he also already triggered it. Um, uh, or just had the activator in his hand. Let's see if that actually... That was actually what he did, and he's heading there now, or if I... Oh, I can actually see someone puking, I think, for in for fun, using the instinct. Couldn't tell. I mean, he has not triggered his modic medic gas device yet, as far as I can tell, so I'm not sure. I think that's a trigger in his hand. Alright, okay. Like some stuff. Now, now Pijama was also going for the for sniper rifle to main kill. Looks like he's he really is. I'm not sure. Like yeah. <laughs> he seems to be really confident about the um, <laughs> about the, the green guns getting his green guns back. So I'm very interested. So he's gonna wait uh, until the guy turns so he can it until Tremaine turns so he can knock out knock out the guard then kill Tremaine. All right, PG now has taken out that one uh, biker. Biker right there, and uh, it's just at most one more biker. But uh, no, it's just Tremaine now. Exactly there, he got the sniper rifle, and he's gonna drag him out to be extra safe. I mean, I wouldn't have known that I could have could just kill him then yeah. either, like if I found it. So very nice. That's a shot. Four out of five for Pijero. Yeah, he just needs, uh, I think, Garden Fork suit. Garden Fork suit, yeah. As far as I know. Um, and he can grab the Garden Fork just from here, and then I'm not sure where his suit is, but he should be able to get to down to Montgomery and secure him pretty easily. And then it's actually very close to being done, if that yeah, run if, counts. <laughs> yeah, exactly, if he's gonna end up, um, yeah, getting his green guns back. Yeah. He had a bit of trouble finding his uh, garden fork. He wasn't the right floor, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he's looking yeah, he's it up look now. It up. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, I think he didn't he didn't didn't notice. So yeah, he has to go up again. Now he knows. Fun of picking up stuff that's <laughs> lying around there. I think he was looking for his remote and medic, uh, and he was basically running oh. to all the locations where he knocked out people and was, uh, yeah. Oh no! It feels so bad for him for fun. He just forgot it somewhere. Yes. Uh, maybe it would have been faster to just uh, point them in the food truck as well. But yeah. Uh, oh my god, I, I see. That makes sense. Ah, poor for fun, just... It happens to me as well, just leaving yeah. stuff around. Yeah, also, I always just, like, I throw stuff and then I never pick it up, and then I wait, where are my crowbars? I need to break open this <laughs> door and I don't have any crowbars anymore. Yeah. Exactly. So Pidgey seems... Yeah, Jin Fana has a drone kill down. Also 4 out of 5. Pidgey now finally knows where to get the Garden Fork. Yes. Attracts that guy to be extra safe. And... Can now pick it up. <laughs> so yeah, both are four out of five, only missing one kill. For Pidgeo, it's the Garden Fox suit. For fun, it should be Electrocution, Electrocution as dealer. Yeah. All right, of course. The uh, handles it. Yeah, Garden Fork uh, suit is going to be the quicker kill in that one, I think, since you're like, yeah, uh, just have a simple weapon and, a, a, and your disguise. Whereas on the other side, you need to actually set up the electrocution. You need to get the dealer's disguise, and that obviously both takes time. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure this guy that he has. Early. I'm not even sure who that is. Is that, is that agent? Uh, I think that's Thames. Agent... Thames? Yeah, yeah. he was uh, on the crane yes. usually. Yeah, I guess it's the Thames. Um, so he wants to set him something up with him, I guess, but I'm not sure what he wants to set up. I think he wanted to drag like, him into the bathroom. And uh, just yeah, but the, oh the yeah. yeah. That would make sense. That make a lot of sense, actually. In the mean, 
same time, Pigiero is, uh, yeah, I think, gonna go and pick up his suit again. Yeah, he, did, he just looked on the map to, to find his suit, uh, so he's also not sure where he left it. He now search, looks like he's searching for it. Luckily, disguises that are underground are gonna display to, uh, being displayed on the map. Oh. That's the one case where hit maps can't help you if you <laughs> use the in game map. Ah, there he finds it. Oh, it's, it's... okay. It's behind the projector bar, if it's a class I could tell. It's gonna be very close, actually. And Fun now set up his execution. Uh, now he has to go down, get the dealer. I'm not sure if he has the dealer in disguise already. Uh, if he has him locked out somewhere or not. I don't um, think he has, but... Probably not, yeah. But well, that will take a bit of time then. Yes, in the meantime, uh, Pigiero has gotten his Ravon suit back. Just needs to get down to uh, his downed Montgomery, I think it is. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. Okay, I only need to get out of the protection bar there. And now... So the thing is... If Han now has to get the dealer, it'll take him a bit more. So even if we are, we are nearly 20 minutes in, it's still very close time-wise, because both are very close to the last kill. But it's still even more tense, because we don't know if Pidgey's run actually yeah. gets... If Pidgey actually gets his skin guns back. So I'm very curious now. I think, this, I think that will decide it. Yeah, I think actually if, if uh, uh, Pidgey gets his green guns back here, he's gonna take this round. Faster, yeah. But hopefully it doesn't lock onto the wrong target. That would also there we, be yeah, <laughs> that would be very stupid. So there we go. The moment of truth for Pijero. Right, I, I, I all eyes on him, and, and oh, it actually oh, yes, is. He gets green guns back. Wow, that's oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh, and if a punk gets screwed or even, what is going on? Wow. Oh. All What's right. What's going on here? Pijero ready to exit now. Just oh, don't get shit. spotted somewhere. And, and he's out. Yes, he's basically out at this point. Oh, wow. That's there we go. GG. That is... GG's to both. That was an amazing round. Uh, close to the very end. Uh, Pidgey really kept us on, on, on the nerves there. Uh, kept on the toes. I would have restarted there, I think. Defeat. Yeah, that makes sense. Or, or at least I would have... But I would have probably done either we start, but we also also already like a few minutes in the run. But then like I would have went for that kill immediately. But like, yeah. Whatever, in with any means, kill that guy first because I wouldn't have been sure. But Pidgey apparently was pretty sure, <laughs> or he just or he just was like, well, if I'm screwed here, then I'm gonna lose anyway, so I'm just gonna try. Um, yeah. Oh, Pidgey's actually and it was here again. Yeah, that was a very great touch from Pidgey. It was awesome, honestly. Like how he saved that, yeah. But then, even in the end, I'm not sure, like in the in the all the chaos we did, we didn't see it properly. But if a fun even got screwed, uh, like he got spotted somewhere, in yes. the, uh, and had to reset, restart, I think. Yeah. So I imagine Pijero Pijero had had red guns, and then both would have restarted at the same <laughs> time. Nerve wracking. Oh, that was I think. so. Yeah, well, this was this was nerve wracking to the end. Very great match so far. Very great map one. Map one. Yes. Um, yeah, the next map is gonna be Mendoza in or uh, in a few minutes from now on. Let me see, uh, 28, so we have four minutes remaining until Mendoza. Um, how long? Yeah, Pidgey, you, bo you both would have been like very, 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 very close to finishing, and yeah, you, you got the you gun back. Would have been a bit faster, probably, but in the final rip, it's right at the end. Yes. So that's uh, unfortunate for him, obviously, but yeah, both players really uh, kept that pace, kept their pace, and yeah, would have been really close if uh, Infofun didn't get spotted there. I think we might even like get a photo finish there or something. Um, yeah, sure. But yeah, next map is by the way, Berlin was chosen for fun. It was the only map pick he had left. I know that. Uh, so, okay. yeah, well, like with only five maps, some people are just forced to pick maps at some point. So that's that. And now Mendoza, Pepe Joe. Uh, I'm interested how that will play out. Pepe is on a 2 2 0 up, but of course, it doesn't say anything yet. Yes, if he uh, manages to win this round, he's gonna face you in the next round. Uh, later this evening, I think, uh, they're planning to schedule the map. Exactly, that's already planned uh, doing it today. So we don't have the map is the loser of David Christmo. Yeah. 
And um, yeah, if Infofun manages to win Mendoza now, we're gonna see a tiebreaker from the remaining three maps that are Dartmoor, Dubai, and Chongqing. Um, if Pidgeiro takes this one now as well, he is advancing in the bracket and Infofun will drop out of the term tournament, unfortunately. Uh, as one of okay. the remaining five players, I think we have right now. Yeah. Um, but of, of course, very much both for both, it's an amazing like. I think top five is an amazing accomplishment already, yeah. especially with like so many players. Um, we've never seen so many players in a red tournament before. So many rookies that played really well. I think I think Chris even is a rookie and is like I secured top two already. So it's uh, yeah. So with so many great quality players. And on five new maps as well, everything is possible. Uh, it's amazing to get so far. Yes. So GG's sure. to both. No, no matter, uh, no matter who, who drops out of the tournament here, it's an amazing accomplishment anyway. Yes, for sure. Like uh, being one of the last persons alive in this uh, tournament, surely is a great ap accomplishment. Um, since we had like I don't know what 38 people starting in the PC bracket yes 38 uh, players in the PC bracket and I think a little bit less maybe yeah, like 20, 26 in the console bracket or something I don't have it open right now um, something like that but we're really crazy numbers for sure yeah. Um, yeah next map Mendoza arriving in 30 seconds so maybe I don't Mendoza know always a lot yeah. yeah, maybe <laughs> we'll see some some uh, Sado Chef spins or something. I don't know. Uh... There are for sure some some falling object mirrors. It's for, <laughs> there for sure some, there's for sure some potential for very spicy spins on on Mendoza. For me, it's a personal favorite because like there's so many variation. I think more than like of course like I don't if we exclude Berlin a bit. Berlin Berlin is a bit of an ex, like edge case an extra case. But like other than that, it's Manila is more like a standard map, and still it's very, uh, very, very. Sorry, uh, we got the spin. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, we got the spin. We're gonna see a elimination on Don Yates using injected poison as the sommelier. I don't know how to pronounce that actually correctly, but uh, Ch I'm sure Chad is gonna tell me how to say that. And uh, we're gonna see a kill on Tamara Vidal using fall in the suit. So we get a suit spin here. Okay, this is very interesting. So. Um, first of all, I think it's some sommelier, uh, but anyway, <laughs> doesn't, more doesn't important count. here. I, I, first of all, I, I love the suit spin because, and especially in combination with fall, because a lot of maps with like a suit on the map in general, because you don't, you're not forced to start a suit, so there's more variation. And here it's especially interesting because if you start in the suit, like Pijero does here, and you do the standard Tamara isolation from there, which is, which is the seeker. So you go to the bathroom, but there you don't have a fall kill opportunity. So I'm so interested what they will do. <laughs> because, yeah, from Raider start, for example, you could do, but then you have to retrieve the red suit. So I'm very interested what will happen here. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Pajero indeed gone has gone for this uh, shrine start, as you just said, and looks like Inforfun is going for the dining room waiter start. Um, yeah. And he has forgotten the syringe and pre-planning. I think he's just uh, yeah, replanning to take that. Can definitely happen. Yeah. Especially with nerves. Um, but yeah, I'm so interested because, like, I'm pretty sure I know what Inforfun is gonna do. He's gonna isolate Tamara now. Um, get uh, then probably. But then, of course, you have to also get... Like, both kills are so difficult because the live kill on Don is somewhere here, which is pretty... not that uh, close. But then you also have Tamara, which you can't really isolate with the Seeker here. And then you have to retrieve the suit. This is such an interesting spin. And I'm very curious how they're able to approach this. But yeah, it looks like Pidgey is going to go for the Sommelier first and then go up immediately to Don uh, on his, like, fir first minutes and uh, take the easy isolation for him. What a fun start with Vader... Uh, Went to go to security and immediately got wrecked. Yeah, I think he tried to open the security doors since I think that are those doors uh, right there where Pidgey is right now. To uh, that exactly. the, this this panel opens. I've actually never used that before, but uh, I've seen it once I think in a cast. I mean, uh, if you can do it, it's a bit faster than Dongle, I think. So um, if you have, like just do it if you can. But yeah, Infant is replanning again because I, I can see that you should take your time planning here because it's a very difficult spin. Yeah, 
There's a lot of stuff that can go wrong, especially with uh, timing-wise and everything. So, yeah. Pijero now uh, going up to head to some of the other guys. Now wants to go up to to, to the to the house. But those two guards now go into the yeah go to the stairs. I think it's tricky about the sommelier, right? Because I'm like not even because sure. of the story, yeah. I mean, like they, they want to frisk uh, the sommelier, but he isn't even allowed here because uh, Corazon didn't take him here. Like the mission story isn't triggered. Yeah, that's so interesting. I never seen that before, but I guess that's, that's the reason. If I got wrecked in the security room again, yeah, Pidgey having some issues with uh, like distracting those guards there. Um. Yeah, let's see how he tries to handle it this time. In the meantime, in for fun, uh, restarting again. Still starts as the waiter. And yeah, it's gonna attempt to do something. Get the somebody here, I think, first. Yeah. Meanwhile, now Pijero is give, kind of given up on uh, on the sommelier. Changed back to his super, of course, he has already knocked him out. There, so can retrieve it later. And now it's looking maybe for the Tamara kill. But I'm interested now also how he how he's gonna do the Tamara kill because three minutes in, Tamara is uh, somewhere just left the reception. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just just left the reception actually. It's going up to the should be up going up to the theater floor. Should be, should be on the staircase or something right now, if I remember the timings correctly. Yeah, there, there they are. The instinct, you can see them talking yeah. on the staircase. Yeah, very good. Yeah, in fall? Fall, you actually... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not interrupting. Yeah, but, no, um, go ahead. It, oh, it's also interesting because you don't actually have to uh, like isolate and KO her. You can find a timing where you can just push her for like, and for one second no one sees you. Just have it. Um, but that's hard. With all the NPCs around. If I meanwhile finally uh, was able to to open the security doors and I was rushing down. Yeah, uh, I think someone in chat said earlier that you could maybe uh, seeker both of or not seeker but tranquilize both of uh, Tamara's guards there and try to push her off the like the edge there to eliminate her that way. Yeah, it sounds possible to me. But I uh, like uh, if you have practiced that, sure. But I wouldn't have gotten the idea to practice a, a fall kill, like a fall life kill. So <laughs> yeah, um, maybe in, they got to improv a bit here. In for fun, just uh, pacified the Somalia and actually like knocked him down into the uh, to the to the vent there, basically. So he <laughs> didn't even have to to like uh, to dump him. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. In the fun now with the, with the fast threats, uh, they, they went to move. Got the sommelier just shot the wall two times. It's now rushing up to, to get a good timing on Don. And Pajero secret Tamara actually. Not sure where she's heading if you seek her up there. Definitely not to the toilet. But I to think she bin. actually is heading to the toilet like nine out of ten times, but she just takes a different route here because she, she can just go down now. And... Oh, yeah. Ooh. What? Pajero knocked his guard, his guard out and. Wow, that looked like a bit of a wall hack to me. Yeah, yeah, that's like. Or, or, or I just didn't close the door. Like, if you don't close doors in Hitman, uh, interesting stuff happens. <laughs> like, people can can spot KOs with with open doors from miles away. But like, open doors in Hitman is something else. Yeah, the door actually was open. I saw that, but like, still, yeah. the the first person that was orange was, yeah, weird stuff. And my bot just wrecked another spam bot, so that's great. <laughs> nice. F first kill um, in this spin. <laughs> True. We have fun now. It's in the Somalia disguise in the mansion. Peekaboo misses Yates. And it's going to go over in the lawyer's office. I'm always wondering how those vine bottles don't break if you just KO someone with them. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Like with banana. 
Banana. Yeah. <laughs> That's goofy stuff. Oh, it's, it's totally fine. Yates. Now, Pijama also... S oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. Yates is now heading towards in the garden, like, to have his conversation oh, with yeah. his wife, but his wife isn't even there anymore, so I'm wondering what he does now. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be so interesting. Like, we're gonna learn so much about Mendoza, regardless of what happens here. Because, yeah, because it's, both are life kills, and if you also both are excellent kills. So, if you have just like just one, two seconds where no one sees you, you could do very, very risky stuff here and just inject or, or make a fall kill happen and then just bail. It's for sure possible. But so, so hard. Especially if you haven't practiced it, like I wouldn't have either. Nah, no, me neither. Uh, Pidgeyaro was uh, needed to restart there. Oh, he got <laughs> ripped again. But yeah, what I wanted to say earlier, um, Pidgeyaro also be planned now. It's not gonna do the same strat, not starting in the shrine anymore after his first rip. And yeah, he, he tried to pick up the key card, picked up a gun, and then <laughs> got spotted because of that. Uh, it looks like Ipapan is just waiting for waiting now for Don to get him come back up. But, yeah, that's not like I was thinking. In, in theory, I, I, what probably would be the the best thing to do here, I guess, uh, for, for like what a personal would do, personally, yeah. is start Vader, um, knock out Tamara, then get get the wetsuit, kill her, get, get down to the sommelier, and then go up to Yes. And then should, like, around six minutes, he comes back up to his, to, uh, like, to his, then he reset, like, he's... Yeah, his cycle uh, resets. The second cycle. And then you have like a, a, around six minutes, you have an easy, even down at the, even if it's downstairs, you have a pretty, pretty easy kill, especially injected poison. So I think that could, it could potentially even be a six to seven minute spin. But I, thinking of that, in the, especially in the tourney, it's really, really yeah, hard. So, yeah. That's uh, especially true. Like in the tournament, you have the, the nerves and everything. Um, exactly. Yeah, Gordon, you asked where the wetsuit actually is on Mendoza. It is. Like Mo said, in the uh, locker room down in the basement of the mansion. If you uh, like start shrine and head uh, towards the mansion, not by climbing up the mountain, but uh, rather by going through that door that is there, uh, the locker room there will contain the wetsuit. I think uh, I think both players actually have to obtain it this round, uh, since yeah, nobody started the do. suit anymore. They do. But interestingly enough, um, Pijama started a Thedo chef and fun start of Raider, so that, that means Tamara has different cycles for, cycles for both of them. And it's kind of be important here because none of them, um, okay, yeah, Pijo tried to, to get by with a coma, but it's a hostile area, so if you get spotted long enough, you still get hostile. Blind only works with trespassing areas, not with hostile areas. Um, and uh, now I forgot what I wanted to say in the first place. <laughs> yeah, but, but exactly, both haven't taken care of anything for Tamara yet. So it's gonna be because and for Pijero, the cycle for Tamara is gonna be like three minutes delayed. So it's interesting what is even favorable here. And I'm interested like it's gonna be different points for them both. I'm interested what they will do. Oh, Pijero got a side KO. Yeah. And that's red guys. Yeah, it's just like I think the nerves are really king enough. There's so many restarts, your opponent could finish any second. So it's very understandable. Yeah, sure. Like with every restart, especially like that late in the tournament, you know your opponent is a good player as well and like <laughs> yeah every every restart might just cost you the round here Miro and for fun it's now seven minutes in Don Yates is trying to, to phone call for check through Ryan Bottle in the, in the corner no oh wow there was God. a mirror there oh, oh. no holy shit oh, I never knew there was a mirror right. there and that little mirror just wrecked him oh, wow like come on oh. Uh, that hurts. If he would have, yeah, that hurts. Like he must be so annoyed, so tilted. Yeah, I mean you can see like, it basically. It's not even doing anything more yeah. right now. But imagine that ha that happens to you. Imagine that. Like come on. Oh my god. That's what. But like if you, if, what if six you, minutes? <sighs> six minutes in or seven, seven minutes, minutes in? Yeah. But imagine. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought of the mirror either. Like nah, me neither. that whole in that whole room, there's no mirror. And then there's just like a very small mirror in the corner, and that one is uh, yeah, that one then just drags him. Like if you would have shown, if you would have went anywhere else, it would have been fine. But I uh, wouldn't have thought of this. That is that must feel so bad. Yeah. All right. And for fun's back at it again. He replanned a little bit, uh, changed up some of his equipment. 
Um, Pijero, I think, is now like he isolates Tamara now. That's what I really, 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 really like, because now he can just get the red suit and kill Tamara at any point. Um, that's what I, what I, what I like, what I really, really think is a good strat here. Yeah. In the meantime, Pidgey cleaned out the bathroom. Uh, maybe just to get that key card there. To like now go and disable the security doors. I would assume so, but he's also trespassing on the. Mm. <laughs> what was that? That's. Oh, he actually loud but the enforcer and like so close, he didn't spot him. That was very. Oh, but like, I like this so much because Pijero and Fan now, now with this restart, both came on the <laughs> idea of isolate Tamara first. I love to uh, love to see those strats, their strats both evolving. So fun. Yes, very nice to see players evolving mid match basically. Yeah. Exactly, so cool. Imagine um, dumping yeah, someone in this in this like flower pot would count as a as an elimination. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I mean, there are some very ridiculous fall kills already, yeah. where, fly, where your target flies like half a meter and they die. But that's not quite yet. Doesn't count quite. Yes. I think actually in for fun is now gonna go pick up the wetsuit and uh, yeah directly go for that. Yeah. And, and, oh, oh, he doesn't no. have a crowbar. That's sad. <laughs> that's sad. Um, but that's what I like. I really really like that because um, I, I can see what Pijero is doing. Uh, you get getting the smell yeah, then getting the, for the wetsuit later. But this one, but 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 with like it's a good, it's a good time for Don. It's like seven, six minutes in, and Pijero now has to improvise or maybe has has a plan actually. But I just think it's a harder Don kill now for him. And for fun, if he goes for the wet suit now, gets the Tamara kill, then then gets the sommelier, he has all the time, like, it definitely it's possible in six minutes. And then he he can poison Yates, gets the, even the car keys, and just exit and the, with a, with a, like, also exit is also pointing on Mendoza. Oh, and Pijero got ripped, he got spotted trespassing! Oh, wow, what is this match? Nerves are high at this point, I think, for both players. Yeah. For sure. Holy shit. This is insane. Yeah. P uh, in for fun now. Walking through uh, to through the uh basement of the of the villa. Cause yeah, he doesn't have a crowbar or a lockpick or anything. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure forty seven could like uh, lock pick a lock using a syringe or something, but uh, <laughs> apparently that hasn't been imp implemented yet. <laughs> I think 47 probably could, yeah. But uh, it's like, uh, he still should have enough time. Like, uh, like it looks like a very difficult spin. It is a very tricky, very, very tricky spin, right? It's very tricky. Um, but it actually doesn't take that much time if you do it like this. So I really like that. He now is very close to the wetsuit. And if he goes up to Tamara, he should be, uh, should have her down in three and a half minutes and can has much more than enough time to get the sommelier and go back up again. Yeah, so it's looking very good for him. Uh, so yeah, in for fun now. Three minutes in, got about like, yeah, four minutes to now get this kill on Tamara and obtain the other disguise. Um, before before the cycle on Yates is basically at the point where you don't want it to be. Exactly. But then then Don's second cycle is pretty generous, so you have you have a lot of time to do that there. Fun try, tries to reverse drop, like uh, drop Tamara back on the other side, but that doesn't work actually. So uh, it's only worked from one side. So he has to drag her out of the bushes, but it shouldn't be a problem. If that lady doesn't walk up the stairs or walk down the stairs right at that point, she doesn't. So that's the that's the Tamara kill for into fun. Yeah. And. Uh... Both players now basically trying to obtain the Somalia disguise. Um, however, for Info Funny, obviously, he already has one kill he needs, and uh, yeah, Pijero has just restarted and is gonna go for that first. So let's see how that works yeah. out for him. Like, which does make a lot of sense. Like, their strats are a bit different. Like, they are. They are quite similar now, especially in uh, comparison to the beginning, where they were vastly different. Mm, but still, like that, Fun goes for the Tamara kill first, and Pijero goes for the Don kill first. I feel like Pijero's strat 
has the potential of being a bit faster, but seems a lot more risky, especially if I haven't practiced uh, that much. And fun seems just seems a lot safer and more reliable to me, and still very fast. So, yeah. But of course, right now, like the stress don't don't really matter that much because I mean, they of course do, but like the, the time point is the stress because uh, it's so far into the spin anyway, and they have different in-game times and stuff, different restart points. So yeah, and the fun now infiltrates the. Uh, uh, some the room. Yeah, he uh, went for the dongle instead of the security doors with the terminal thingy. Um, Makes sense. If you're already there. Just knock them both out now. Frosted last fortunately got fixed. So you can just do that. Yeah. And both players, or like PG, arriving at the mansion first. And for fun, heading there now. And yeah, both looking for the kill on Yates now, which is the yeah the last remaining uh, kill that uh, Infor Fun needs actually, while Pigero still needs the Tamara kill afterwards. Exactly. Wait, actually, why is okay? That's probably my, just my missing map, map knowledge. But why is Don still in his chair at three minutes thirty-five? Normally, it should be in the gardens already. What's going on with that? Like something, something to trigger him to delay his cycle, but I'm not sure what it was. Uh, maybe oh, actually he, he, some idea uh, walking up to the mansion or something. Either that, or it triggered like the cover conversation or something. I, I know that like when Don Yates is alive and stuff, and if you trigger the cover conversation, he like just stands there and, and actually actually does the phone call, not like when he's dead and cover just talks with the dead Don Yates. Um, that's interesting. I'm not sure. Like I'm actually. I missed why that is, why that is, why it's like, but well, that's an easy kill for Pijero then. Yes, so uh, Pijero got the Yates kill down now, and yes, looking to. Just has to get tomorrow get the now. Suit. It, 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 it shouldn't be that far away for PG either because the suit isn't that far away. You just get you need to get down, get up tomorrow, dump her. But for Ivan, it also looks very good because if you. This look, the wife is in front of the mirror. So <laughs> this is a bit of a problem. Please don't get wrecked by the mirror again. That would feel so bad. I, I would feel so bad for him if you would get wrecked by the mirror again. Yeah, I think I think he knows that now by this point. Wife has left the mirror, so don't maybe you can just lure him out of the balcony, poke him there. I think you don't even need to lure him out theoretically. I think you could just uh, run up to him and stab him in the back. But yeah, but yeah, the turn. So like while f phone calling. So, and the wife comes back in again. Oh my god, this is so tense. And she stands in front back, of the mirror again. Oh the no. mirror again. And I can't, like, I can see why he wouldn't risk running in because of the wife could spot him through the mirror. Yeah, oh definitely. God, yeah. This is so tense. Incredibly tense. Maybe he wants to wait to, for her to go back outside. I'm not sure what she actually does. Yeah, she's gonna go back outside. And now maybe he's gonna do the throw, throw, throw thing again. And then stab him the, after the door closes. Uh. And the wife comes back. Well, the wife is such a troll. Holy oh, shit. They're actually, oh, no. They're actually coming out to the back. Oh, they're actually coming. Okay. But that's good for him. That's good for him. Yes. Yeah, he, can, he can wait. He can. Ah, but let's be careful with, with the panic Don Yates. Oh, my God. This is so. It's so intense right now so for, for fun there. Especially because because Pijero is so close to finishing. Like, that... Infofan doesn't know, but he's so. Infofan is so close, but he has to do something now. Well, that's so. Wait, wait. Pijero is also early in the suit. He is, he's so close. He's up to Tamari. He just has to, has to exit. He gets a kill down in 30 seconds. Oh. And now Infofan shot like a falling object thing. Yeah, and, and actually does her... Do... Oh, the wife goes the wife, That no, is so and... smart. Holy shit. That's <laughs> that is so actually smart. insane. He just needs to get Yates out of this chair now to like give him a little step then... in the back. Yeah. Just make sure oh, you don't get spotted God. by that. Yeah, he walks. He stands so up. so tense. Don't go it's out so yet. so tense as well. Okay, he, yeah, he saw the wine bottle flying, so that's why he turned around. And now we're gonna wait until he's gonna wait. And yes. now he has to stab him. And then he has to grab car, car keys and yeah. get out. Being extra careful and, and, there. Okay, and that... <laughs> Shit. Does he go for. I think he actually goes for the. Yeah, for the mercenaries disguise. Just uh, doesn't want oh, to but, get spotted. Oh, but the wife can come back up, no? The wife can come back up. Uh, that's uh, actually. Oh, yeah, that's. Uh, what? what? Actually... He has to hide the, hide, hide the body. I think he's fine. When now Pijero is struggling with finding a dump, dump spot for Tamara. This is so close. Oh no, oh, Pijero got, got, no, got noticed. Oh my oh. god. 
This match, this match is just. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is... That's very unfortunate there. But in, in the man is out. He's got the mercenary disguise. He hit the body. He has the car keys. He's out. Holy shit! What a match! It's funny wow. how both, how, how like the both players rip very close before the uh, the opponent finishes in both yeah. maps so far. Uh, but in uh, the end, Infofun's gonna uh, take this map. Is gonna uh, yeah take it to a draw, and we're gonna see a decider. Whoa, 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 whoa. So yeah, so that's very true. And uh, and also, I think I think both would have been faster if they would have finished than their opponent who ripped. But it still makes it extra uh, interesting, extra tense. Uh, what what a great match so far! Victory wow. Score two um, to two. But honestly, like Pedro, I think he dragged her a bit far. You like. You can dump her pretty much when you drag her out of the box immediately. He dragged her a bit too far, and then I guess there's a spot where you can get spotted. The first one's pretty safe if there isn't the... If be careful if there isn't the woman. But I still think it would have been faster. But this was so tense. So many great moments. So unfortunate rips. Yeah. Um, good match. Very good match so far. Yeah, we're gonna see a decider, and the map for that is gonna be China Chongqing. So, oh, another Chongqing decider. <laughs> wow. It's going to be an interesting one. I'm sure Coach's going to be happy about that. Uh, getting a bit of experience, maybe learning another spin that he needs to learn before uh, going into his next match or something. <laughs> In Roulette Rivals 5, that is. Unfortunately, he's already out of the tournament here. Um... Yeah, Infarfan is going to uh, play the, the mission briefing, and I'm actually just going to do the same. So, yeah, gonna give you a little bit of intro to Chongqing and see you <laughs> in a bit. The file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. I see, eh? I used every encryption known to man. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. You and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public. You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So. What are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kedanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables, human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce. The proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core and I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know Hush. 
If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. All right, Perfect. we are back uh, with the third spin. Uh, there we go. Yes, and we have Polyp Cider, Pash with the Scrap Sword as the board member, and for Imogen, Tanto in the suit. Wow, what a spin! Can you imagine that? It's actually a juicy. It, it continues with the juicy spins in this evening, or uh, like afternoon, whatever. Different time zones, different times of the day. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's, it's crazy. Um, so to reflect on it, so we still see a suit start, for, for sure, of course. Um, of course, two variants there, and for fun starting in, at the riverside. Tanto is something, unfortunately, you, you can bring with him, it's an unlockable. I assume they both have that. And I'm curious what, what we'll see here. Scrap Sword is also right there, so... I think besides the board member, it's really close to... Could be, ver could be fairly quick. Yeah, uh, both players opting for the Riverside start. Um, yeah, and for fun already picked up the Scrap Sword right there, and I think he's gonna just maybe lure Imogen up already, take her down, and uh, just leave the <laughs> leave the uh, sword there. Um, no, actually, looks like he's gonna go for Hush first. Works perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, actually, you need his sword for Hush, not for Imogen. So yeah, that makes no sense leaving the sword there. Yeah. I wonder if you can, you can probably, like, if you KO'd, you can probably get the board member first, and then, like, start on suit, get the board member, and then go up to, uh, go up to kill Hush, in time, and then, then go back down, uh, like, shoot the drone before, go down, grab your suit, and then go, go behind Image and kill her, and it's like, four minutes or something, I'm pretty sure you could do that, but I'm not KO'd, so I couldn't, without, without practice. Yeah, well, uh, maybe we'll see the spin just randomly appearing in a code stream after this, uh, <laughs> after this match. Could very well be. But yeah, it looks like they were opting for this very safe method of just knocking Harsh out and then uh, being able to get back up there at any point in time that they want. Um, Fun also, Fun also brought the scrap sword already. Can leave that there. Or oh, Pidgey... Peekaboot, peekaboot, hush, I'm not sure if that was intentional. Now he has, now it's infiltrating through the deprivation chamber. Yes, I'm not sure, quite oh, sure if uh, Pidgey actually picked up the scrap sword before he was setting up here. I don't think he did. Uh, oh, that's, oh, it's yeah. front KO. Yeah, that's like, yeah. He just stood up, he, yeah. I was actually wondering, because uh, this, uh, this A tracker stayed green for a long time, but like, yeah, server lag and everything, so it, uh, it's gone. Gone rad. Um, yeah, in for fun basically has the hush kill set up at this point and just needs the board member disguise and um, yeah, they can then get Imogen afterwards. In the meantime, unfortunate reset from Pidgey there. He now needs to like redo everything basically. Yeah, exactly. Like two minutes in, and on a on a short map, like to I mean, can be short, but like the spin shouldn't take too long, like as long as Berlin or something. So it, it's like two minutes are definitely quite a bit if the fan doesn't rip. So what do you all see? Yeah, fan now infiltrated. Oh yeah, you already you already shot a drone. Very nice. So it's uh, imaging KO for him. So he has both targets set up. Only needs uh, the disguises now. Gets the disguises to the targets, and he's done. Yes, and Pidgey actually has another rip there. He got his body found, uh, the body of the like tier one security guard that uh, Infofun is wearing right now. Not quite sure by who that oh, got wow. spotted, but um, yeah, very... I didn't see where he got where, where, where did KO him or where did he, where did he drag him. So uh, I couldn't. Uh, uh, oh no, Infofun, that's <laughs> what Infofun didn't. That it just killed Imogen using a letter opener instead of the Tanto. Wait. Oh, no. I'm sure he had, he had, had brought the Tanto with him, but he probably didn't see. Like, it looked like just two sharp objects, and he did, it, did the wrong thing. Oh, 
no. Oh my god. He hasn't, no I'm way. not sure if he has brought the Tonto so far, because I can't see it in his inventory right now. Uh, I guess not. Wow. Maybe he misread the spin or something? Oh, wow. Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be uh, an interesting one now, for sure. Gonna be rough. Oh my god, this is... This match just keeps on keeps on giving. Yeah, it keeps viewers. delivering surprises. Uh, yeah, of course, someone can, of course, uh, notify him for fun to that he or like yeah I'm sure someone can uh, if not the admins will in after he um, finishes the map but he needs to restart anyways I think uh, now he knows I hope so yeah I think he's knowing that oh okay there he goes oh no he just didn't replan no it replanned, okay. but it ch didn't change anything. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not sure if he... And like, probably in the nerves, I wouldn't realize either that the tent is unlockable. So I can... Yeah, I didn't know it actually until... Oh, that's a rep from Pidgeyaro there. Uh, as he was trying to, to like, drag Hush out of view. <laughs> this match, this, this is match. What, yeah, what this match is just uh, so much blood pressure is high at this point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course, the Tento is on the map, for sure. Um, like you don't have to bring it because, uh, be because otherwise it wouldn't be a viable spin. I'm actually not sure where it is though. Might look it up on hit maps. Yeah. If it is like if it's on on route anyway, then of course it makes sense not bringing a Tento. Yeah, I mean it is in Hush's uh, room, so in the oh, it is. okay. Chamber. Well then, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> then it makes sense not bringing one. Okay, that that yeah, then it's fine. Yeah, in for fun again, uh, moving up has brought the scrap sword with him and yeah, we'll set up a skill on Hush now, I think. Getting spotted again by the drone, not a huge deal. Just gonna shoot Just that. Shoot exactly. yeah. So uh, Imogen will move up for him and uh, yeah, the timing worked out for him last time, so it should do that again. Um, I'm thinking so, yeah. Uh, but it's such an interesting match as well because in for fun doesn't, didn't really have a rip yet. Just had one one restart because he realized he he killed her with a bomb. He actually ripped the weapon. Oh, he actually. Okay, I didn't see. Okay, my bad. All right. Yeah, he, um, got, he got spotted while changing. So into actually, the, I'm not into the board member. Yeah. So we just we don't don't, don't even know if if uh, if he knows, but I, I hope so for him. Uh, because otherwise it would be very sad. Yeah. Uh, and Pijero, uh, Pijero already got a rip two times or even more. I think three times already. And like, not that far in, but still. They are both pretty much at the same point in game time. Both going for the for the knockout on Hush again. Yes, uh, I think actually Pidgeyaro, uh, not Pidgeyaro, but Inforfun realized that he needs the Tanto because he. Oh no. Oh, and now the, the same oh. thing! But... <laughs> this match. This, uh, this, the same thing that happened to Pidgeyaro. Uh, he, he, like, the retouch stood up, turned, he had, had a front KO. Meanwhile, Pidgey now gets spotted by Hush. Um. <laughs> um, the guard is investigating that, oh. that the hush, scheme of Hush. He is tranquilized, so it is fine. If he actually, it's fine if he can KO the guard, uh, not not getting spotted, then it's actually fine because the target is tranked and he can't yes, tell because he's true. KO'd. Oh, but no, and no. <laughs> Rapido got spotted. Next uh, look. <laughs> yeah, got spotted um, grabbing, grabbing the tranked body. All right. Again, square zero for both players. Um, yeah, I think the the hardest part at this point is basically to just stay calm and uh, exactly just repeat the steps that you have been doing the last in like in your your last run, just do them better and yeah, don't don't rush anything. Because... Exactly, it shouldn't take that long. But of course, they don't know. Like, it's just that long of a spin, so they can ex they will probably expect the opponent to finish any second. Yeah, it's like I would feel. So I can very much see them uh, being nervous and feel like they will have to rush. Yes. Um, so, but we'll see. Oh, Pidgey, I think Pidgey screwed up a little a bit uh, for the, like for the guy, so he can't so he waste, waste a bit of time there, unfortunately, for him. Yeah, basically, like if you, uh, 
any any time in the tournament basically if you're playing a match you'll basically think there's no way my opponent hasn't finished already like yeah. in, in your view of the board at that point your opponent is just about to click that finish button you're just about to get that defeat uh, exactly. sound uh it's so tense but then it also it feels so great if it doesn't if that doesn't yeah, happen yeah of course so <laughs> it's also great all right in for fun the first one arriving at hush again and um yeah he has yeah pg can have a pg can have a bit of a different tackle now because he's so delayed so i'm sure i'm, I'm curious what will happen to him, for him i think hush is now leaving the Leaving the yeah now because because now Hush is in the open room and I'm curious what what PG will do now. Meanwhile, if I this time he got the two yeah. KOs cleanly and got the Tanto. Yes, it's right there. So he he knows now that he needs the Tanto, not a letter opener. Yeah, very good. <laughs> I mean, both both items are fairly close to to Hush anyway, so you could mix it up anyway. Like uh, can happen, of course. Um, but it's kind of fun too that like the Tanto is uh, very close close to Hush and the Scrap Sword is very close to Imogen, where Imogen is also the one drone lure so interesting that it's reversed pretty much yeah also like the board member usually uh, disguises that's down in the facility now being used for Hush here wow the timing for in for fun though uh, like Imogen is still on her way up to those stairs uh, from that one sh one drone he shot before going for Hush. Um, yeah. So he now has a little uh, bit of time to just get the board members. I think he did this. Yeah, I think it, I, mean, I think he did the same thing earlier. So uh, yeah. and he went to here, knocked knocked Imogen out, and it worked perfectly fine for him. So I think the timing should be the same as well here. You can just we'll do the same. Just uh, go to facility, knock knock out Imogen and the guard. But this time, kill them uh, in the actual suit with the Tanto and not uh, not with the letter opener. Uh, it looks to me like uh, Pidgeot, Pidgeot did quite a few KOs. Uh, I'm not sure if, if he actually KO'd um, Hush as well and, and how he did that. I, I know that he KO'd the f one in the bathroom. Or maybe he just, like, maybe he didn't actually do it, uh, which would make sense to me because I didn't see how he would do that. But now Hush is downstairs before Imogen is leaving. Uh, just wants to KO her so she doesn't go back down again. That would suck. Yes. Oh, Hush got sick. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, that makes make sense. Okay, so now he rushes down. PJ now, now rushes down to Hush. So that Imogen doesn't leave. KOs them both. Rushes up again and KOs Hush in the bathroom. I see. Alright, I hope he brought the uh, Tanto with him. Because then this is just an easy kill for PJ He Yeah, he actually has the Tanto. Looks like it, yeah. <laughs> Imogen hasn't realized that her guard is actually down now. But uh, yeah, that's the first kill. First correct kill for PJ Wow! Here. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, that's great. Look at this. What the fuck? Imogen is enforcing, like, he threw something and Imogen is enforcing that. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Okay, I mean, it's fine for him because he now also knock out the... Oh my god, that was so close. It looked like a side KO at first. She's screaming, I'm not sure... Uh, it, it, okay. Nope. Okay, good. Yeah, door's the, the door isn't open, so it's not the thing that happened to me. So the door isn't open, all good for him. Oh, that was close. That looks so close again because of the side KO. Yeah. Stuff. Like... It could have also been red, maybe. Yeah, he's gonna have the suit now as well. Uh, should have the Tanto somewhere. There it is. He threw that earlier, and now he has the first kill down as well. So both have the Imogen kill down. Yes, and both also have a uh, Hush down as well. Just need the board members disguised at this point. I I'm not actually sure if if Pidgey, Pidgey already. Oh, wait, no, he did knock him out. Okay, so my my, 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 my. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, it's very very close. Both uh, also, oh, pretty no. much at the same point in the spin. We've seen this so it's... many times. <laughs> yeah, we, we've seen this before. This is a deja vu moment. Uh, both are pretty much at the exact same point in the spin. It yes. depends how fast they do it, and they, doesn't drip, they don't drip now. That's the most important thing here. Yeah, although Pidgeotto does need to carry a briefcase around with him because he didn't uh, bring the sword, uh, scrap oh, sword yeah. earlier. Um... Definitely disadvantage for him. If you find us doing the fast, uh, the fast stretch for the board member, he yeah. has the one corner shot left. He's gonna use that for him. Yes, he got spotted last time here while oh. changing disguises. Okay, now. Oh, really? Yes, right here. The Didn't... Board. Yes, right Did here. When he ripped. But now it worked out for him. Oh, wow. Oh, that's where he ripped. Okay, that's unfortunate. I mean, it wouldn't matter anyway, but okay. Yeah, this time it worked. 
Um, yeah, that's, that's a bit of an advantage for fun now. Because Pidgeot was doing going to do the same thing, but it's like uh, 15 seconds behind, or 20 seconds, even more behind. Which doesn't sound that much, but I'm going to assume they're both, gonna, both have to do the same thing. Just run up, uh, get the kill, run, like, slide down the pipe and go to the exit. So uh, those 20 seconds or whatever that Infanta has ahead here could be very important. Yeah, it could be. And I don't really see him getting ripped right here. Like, he has to get to Hush and get out of out of there unseen. But it's easy for Infanta because uh, for Pijero, that is, um, that is in the bathroom. Like, Pijero has Hush knocked out in the bathroom, and Fana has him... Maybe actually, okay, actually doesn't really matter. Uh, but it, I think the way for Pijero is a bit longer, even. Yeah, especially so... since he has to carry that briefcase around with him. Like, if, if he didn't, exactly. he just like, could have climbed up there, but uh, he can't, like, climb anywhere right now. I mean, but now you can take out the sword anyway, because yeah. it doesn't matter. Uh, Swap anyway, but now Infan got the kill down, got the scrap sword rare, just threw it at Hush, and... This guy is himself in a block guard, so he's legal over there. And now I think he can just exit. And that should be a GG for him for fun. I don't yes. really see him getting ripped there. No, not really. Anymore. Um, unless he just does something really stupid now, this should be a GG. <clears throat> uh, it's always possible with nerves and turnies and stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he's going to slide on the pipe. No one forces there anymore. So that is a GG. Um, wow, what a, what a crazy match. All three maps. And even here, now both got both kills down. Uh, it's so close. Uh, it would be fitting if Pijero gets, gets ripped now, because that would fit the first two maps. <laughs> that would uh, fit the tournament, uh, this, this whole match, actually, yeah. He's um, yeah. actually Doesn't using like the, the perfect test subject, this guy, to get out. Yeah, um, should work as well. GG's. But yeah, that's a GG to in for fun. Holy shit, this match. Uh, ups and downs yeah. for every player at this point. <laughs> ups and downs. Um, Berlin took super long, it was very close at the end. Mendoza, we see, saw many restarts, but in the end was still close. And even Chongqing, we also saw many restarts, and in the end was still, was still yeah, close. Yeah, I mean, so, Pijero, oh it's not confirmed, uh, the, the, the win for for fun is not confirmed here yeah. yet, so... But um, I, I think in yeah. Pijero, yeah, Pijero misses a photo finish by like 5 to 10 seconds. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that has to feel <laughs> so bad for him now, because he just exited and... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what a crazy, crazy match. Definitely a crazy match. Um, but in the end, Inforfun is gonna take this match and he moves uh, on in the bracket. Let's switch to that. GG's to both. Pijero got fifth place in the PC bracket with that. That is an amazing accomplishment. And. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, he has to leave the tourney now, but uh, uh, very great stuff. GG's. Yeah, especially like both really good players really performed to their best here. And um, yeah, unfortunately, only one player can win. And in this case, it was in for fun. He's now moved on and is going to play you in the round eight of the losers bracket uh, later this day. Um, exactly. Yeah. One of you will then have the chance to face the loser of Chris X3 versus Mr. Mike to spot a uh, to secure a spot in the finals. So that's only three matches before we um, yeah before we know the finalists for the PC bracket. Um, yeah, we've also Back got the some end. upcoming matches. Yeah, uh, only four matches. Uh, only four matches. Uh, yeah, we get we'll get the rematch of the Roulette Rivals World Championship uh, Finals next. In for fun versus me. Yeah, actually, so, so that, that gonna was be, the final last time. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting, but this time not with a five-hour match, probably. <laughs> I hope. Um, not with ten different maps. So it's gonna be interesting. Yes, um, the upcoming matches is a bit empty right now since we only have like I think now we have five matches left until we get to the grand finals. Um, the maybe next match, we don't uh, quite know when the next one's going to be scheduled, uh, is going to be Toby Norton versus Poker Face playing Berlin and Chongqing um, at 23 o'clock Central European time. So that's in like uh, five, almost six hours from now on, I think. Six hours, yeah. Yeah, if I do the math yeah. correctly. 
Um, currently no shoutcaster for that one, but I'm sure we're gonna find somebody. I, I, actually, I think there is a shoutcaster. It's just yeah, there are shoutcasters. Like yeah, I think uh, Rommel, yeah, we'll and, Rommel and Rommel and Krugermeier, I think. Um, yeah, gonna, I'm gonna take that, that match. And yeah, we also get the match between Infofun and Janini later this evening. Um, exactly, we are looking for that. I think it should. Be, um, like Infofun and I are both Europeans, so it should be sometime before that. Before that uh, other match. So All like right. something 20, 21, something like that. So be on the lookout for hit maps and team promoter matchups, and then you'll see where, where, when it is. Exactly. If you want to learn more about this tournament, um, yeah, do check out the Discord fraud speedrunning community where this event is being hosted. You're gonna like get all the match schedules and the uh, shoutcasters from that there. Also, uh, do check out hit maps if you want a. Well, complete list of upcoming matches. I mean, there are no more, but um, you get also the links to the shoutcasters. And it's a pretty awesome app website in general. Um, so if you want to like know anything about the Hitman maps, be sure to check that one out. Yeah, thanks everyone in chat for watching. Thanks, to, of course, to the players for playing. GG's to both. And, uh, well, congratulations to Infofund for winning this match. Thanks to Janini for co-casting this one with me. Of course, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no. That's been a pleasure. Um, yeah, <laughs> I could do it. Finish with the hit maps ad. Uh, probably just gonna do that. My chat seems to enjoy that one. Um, yeah, I do so. I just want to say again, like um, I think this was the best match of the tourney so far uh, from entertainment yeah. value. So um, yeah, very, very glad that we could cast that. that yes, match. definitely. Um, all right, then I'm gonna see you in the next match over at either Rommel's stream or I don't know who casts your match. Might as well be me. I don't fucking know if anyone, if no one's gonna take it. I'm gonna take it probably. I think, K K I think KO's already already said he will take it. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll jump in. I don't know if he has a co or not. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll watch but it yeah, for sure. yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna see all of you in the next match. See you. Do you hate searching for that one kitchen knife on Mendoza? Do you hate forgetting where the pipe upwards on Dartmoor is? Do you want to become a more efficient roulette player? Well fear not, there is a solution. Hitmaps.com, your one-stop shop for all your Hitman needs. Maps for all the Hitman 1, Hitman 2 and Hitman 3 maps. Alerts on upcoming elusive targets. Friendly roulette matches against your neighborhood Hitman. Upcoming match information about roulette rivals. Go on there now! In case you already forgot, that's hitmaps.com to become a better roulette player. Why the fuck am I telling you all of this? You all know hitmaps.